Welcome to the first episode of the Wealthy Traders Academy course. Before we even get started in any video from here on out, I want you to understand that you just, the investment that you just made into this whole course is going to be worth it. If you had any questions or doubt, get that out your hair right now. This is going to be better than any shoes, any purse, any game, any Netflix show that you binge watch that you have ever watched. I guarantee you, after you finish this show, <laughs> aka after you finish this series, not only will you learn a skill that's going to pay for your life, but you learn a skill that's, that you're going to be able to spread down for generations to generations to come, right? So, go ahead and get your popcorn ready, get your pen, notebooks out, your pens ready, and get ready to enjoy this series. And let's get this show started with the first episode, What is For Us? So, what is Forex, what is the foreign exchange market, and what is the hype about it? If you have ever had any confusion about what Forex is, don't worry, it's over right after this. So, let's go ahead and get straight into it. Forex is actually short for the foreign exchange market. It's one of the largest financial markets, if not the uh, largest financial market in the world. Every day, there are currencies that are being traded, the dollar, the euro, the, uh, the Swiss franc, the Canadian dollar, any major currency right uh within like the eight major currency periods there is uh any of those currencies are being traded constantly throughout the day and there are people like you and me and many others that i was playing in the next episode that are trading within this market so the way i like to simply break it down to people is i kind of like to compare it to the stock market so for those that know anything about stocks you know uh the simple basic of hey if the company value goes up, that means my stock value is going to go up. That means I'm going, to, I'm going to make money. But if that company value goes down, that means your stock investment is going to go down as well. What if I told you that in the foreign exchange market, whether the uh, the currency value, right, because we're trading currencies, whether if the currency value goes up or down, you're going to make money, right? Once I understood that, once I realized, hey, if the currency value goes up, we're gonna make money, and if the currency value is gonna go down, we're gonna make money. That's the only thing I need to know that lets me know why and why Forex will still remain one of the largest financial markets in the world. Because it doesn't matter if the value of the currency is doing great, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if the economy is doing great. Right? The economy could be doing bad. Like there could be some news that come out and says the economy is crashing. Oh my gosh, this. And there's a lot of people that's gonna lose money. But since you have uh, investing in yourself within this course you're gonna know you're gonna learn a skill that's gonna teach you how to make money with the economy doing good with the economy doing bad with the economy even doing just so-so or all right other thing your typical stock market is only open from nine to five but with the trading with trading in the foreign exchange market the market is current always open 24 7 Monday through Friday Monday through really yeah Monday through Friday it closes on Friday at 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time Right, that's my specific time zone, so I'm gonna go based off of that. And then it opens back up on Sunday at uh, 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time Zone as well. But if you trade cryptocurrencies, which I actually might drop another course after this, after this course, I'm gonna drop another course after this where I'll be going over cryptocurrency as well, um, which will mean you could trade Monday through Sunday, seven days a week, and you can make money every single day if you choose to um, do that. Right? right, so that's the basic of what Forex is. In the next video, I'm gonna break down exactly who is actually trading in the markets. I'm not gonna to try to spill too much. I'm gonna just say it for the next episode, and I'll catch you there.